dressed up as a witch while trying desperately not to look embarrassed. Go as a fairy, then. <laughs> this is me. Come on, I'm trying to make up for the other day. Oh, so you can run off again, leaving me to wonder why I ever, ever bother with you. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's different this time. I promise I'm trying to make amends, you know. This is, this is me trying to claw back a semblance of decency between us. I ran the other night. I know I did, but that's because I had a momentary lapse, huh? Thank you so much for the thought, but uh, Halloween for me is just Christmas with fangs. Mmm, not nice. Ghastly. Not <laughs> nice. Do you know, I'm, I'm thinking, we were, we were doing that uh, report earlier on about fear, you yeah. know, about fear. And it, it was about the, the, the idea of people who don't react normally to emotions. Yeah. And that, that, that's the, the principle of fear. If, if you have an abnormal reaction to people's feelings and whatever, is that the kind of thing you were sort of trying to tap into a bit with a character, of getting into the mindset of someone who is genuinely dangerous? I think so, yeah. Uh, he is a functioning psychopath, I think, mm -hmm. um, and has a sort of clinical lack of empathy, so he doesn't really care what you think mm. or feel. Fun to, do what, fun to do great what to do, isn't it? Great to do, because you get to sort of purge all that sort of dark stuff yourself and I, maybe that's why he's quite popular with people because they sort of vicariously I guess dispel their sort of dark yearnings mm -hmm. <laughs> you even scare me looking at me to be honest with you <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean to. I'm, no, no, I'm I know. Like in real life, I know. I'm, sure, I'm sure you're not. Um, what's it been like, but, but very enjoyable to play him as a character? A brilliant, brilliant fun. It's you know he's he's always interesting and always seems quite um, new. And they, 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 they were very generous in the storylines they gave me, and, and mm -hmm. so it was always great to sort of come to work and, and to play him. We won't go big on the plot because that would be a shame yeah, for people really. wanting to know what's going to happen. But y when you're psyching yourself up for the psychopath role. Yes. But how, you know, is there, is there, how do you go about that? Is there kind of, what happens? How do you do that? How do you jump from, I don't know, having a cup of tea with the rest of the crew and the yeah. cast, and then... It, no acting required. It's just quite easy. <laughs> I, could just, I could just move into it. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know. It's, sort of, it's always come quite easily to me, mm. curiously, that thing of um, finding the inner sort of dark stuff. Um, it's been part of your life for a long time, and... You know, we all know that if you work on EastEnders or Coronation Street, it's hard work, isn't it? It's unbelievably hard work. It's the hardest job in show business. Because, it's it's, because of the turnaround, because of the, the time pressure? Yeah, because of the, the, vol the sheer volume, mm. um, the, um, the amount of stuff you have to do, uh, the amount of changes in emotion, um, the huge jumps. You may, um, uh, you know, murder somebody in the morning, you may win the lottery. In the afternoon. Uh, yeah, and then even before lunch, you know, so it's kind of, you have to do these huge technical leaps. So it's mm. brilliant training, but very difficult. You're, you're, you're a young man, a young actor. That's very you? kind. You're a young man, Bless you. and you've got a long career ahead of you, I'm sure. When you play a very, very evil character in a big soap opera in this country, it, it kind of sits with you a bit, doesn't it? Because, you know, the, I don't know, there's eight, nine million people watching and, and glued to your every move. Uh, is there a little concern? I mean, you're giving me everything. Obviously, you're talking about your technique and, and whatever. Is there a little worry that people always think of you as, you know, oh, he's the, he's the guy from EastEnders? I, I guess it's always a risk, but I think uh, to, to have not done him, played him, would have been a mistake because I've sort of really enjoyed it. And, mm. you know, I think lots of... I hope that lots of other people have enjoyed watching him. So uh, the fact that he may stick in the mind is... Possibly a good thing. Probably a good thing. Yeah. And um, I want to look, look at a little bit clip. Um, so EastEnders fans will know the plan. The plan is he's going to try and get rid of Janine. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. But, allegedly. Okay. Well, Alice is involved as well. Let's have a little look at you talking to Alice. This is happening. But how? She doesn't need me to go over there and babysit someone. I'm meant to just break in and shove the pills down her throat. You have to be in that house tonight. Yeah, but how? You'll think of something. Come on, baby, I need you at your best. Be my worst. No. All we're doing is convincing that monster to show up for a date, which he never shows up for. It's doubly tragic. It's so horrible. No, it's not. And life's horrible. And it never gives you what you want. And Janine is worse than that. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for Scarlett. Doing it for you. 
A little bit of tenderness at the end, just to just, confuse us. Just to take the edge off. <laughs> but brilliant, how uh, brilliant Jasmine is in that. She's just wonderful. Okay, well, it's, perf it's a perfect story for a Halloween night. And people will have to watch tonight to find out what happens, won't they? They will, yes. And indeed, um, tomorrow, I believe. And tomorrow yeah. as well. Okay. Um, thank you very much for coming to see us. Thank you for having me. Loving the beer. Um, EastEnders is on tonight, 7.30 on BBC One.